So, Arch Oil AR6200. Now, through YouTube journeys, I came across this product from PowerStrokeHelp.com. And its use of helping emissions, fuel economy, and cleaning fuel injectors. Now, I am in a commercial motor vehicle. I'm a truck driver. And I pay for my own fuel. So I have a vested interest in the well-maintained equipment for operational efficiency and longevity. So I decided to give Arch Oil a try to use in my 18-wheeler. I drive a 2018 Cascadia with a Detroit DD15. And I have a Tri-Pack Evolution APU unit to give me electrical power and heating in the truck. So, as far as fuel economy to my application, the verdict is still out. However, one tangible thing that I noticed immediately. Upon starting the treatment of my fuel, and this all happened within this past week, I followed the recommendations of doing a double dose for, they indicated three tanks, but considering the fact that I have a total fuel capacity of 200 gallons, it gets a bit pricey. So I did it for two tanks, a total of 400 gallons. Now, at night, I run my APU unit, and that is the subject of this conversation in regards to Arch Oil, AR6200. Before I use the additive, in the cold weather, the APU hangs off the side rails of these 18 wheelers. And facing the wind through the course of a day in 25 to 30 degree weather, it's essentially bearing the brunt of essentially functionally three degree weather, sub-zero temps potentially. And what happens is when you try to start this thing up, the tripack unit will spit and sputter and at least in my application, even after replacing the filters and pumps and things like that of proper maintenance, it'll still spit and sputter for a good eight to 10 to 15 seconds. And sometimes when it's really cold, fail to start at all and it'll take two or three attempts before it finally starts and it warms up and everything gets good and going. So after putting the arch oil in and topping off the tanks, running that day, and then that first night, starting up where it's pulling the now treated arch oil in, it spits and sputters for the normal time that it would always do, anywhere between 8 to 12 seconds. And then it would start to rev up, but still kind of be flaky for another 5 seconds, and then it'll level out, and it'll be fine through the night. So it ran through that first night, and the arch oil going through there, doing its thing, and uh, the second night was dramatic. When it first started up, it spit and sputtered for three to five seconds and they did not need any more time to level out per se. It spit and sputtered and then it was just at nominal RPM that it ran through the rest of the night. The third night that it ran, which was last night, I got done driving from midnight into 7 in the morning through 15 degree weather at 70 mile an hour road speed and when I stopped I turned on my Wabasto bunk heater, a diesel fired fuel heater and the tri-pack unit kicked on and it kicked on and sputtered literally two to three times, two to three sputters and it was at full RPM and ran fine. And then after my rest break, and then the little bit of travel I did today, granted it was a little bit warmer, of about 35 degrees, 30, 35 degrees through the wind, and it cranked up just a few moments ago before I recorded this, it just cranked right up and didn't sputter one lick, like it was in the middle of the summertime. No hesitation at all. So my speculation is that if it is assisting the tri-pack that much and that easily and that significantly there stands to gain that it's benefiting my big motor and giving me fuel economy 
Right now, my average per month is 7.4 on a winter blend. And if I just get a tenth of a gallon increase, or even half of that, I've done the math and it will more than pay for itself in fuel savings. And considering it's a business and I get to write it off, that's money in my pocket. Not to mention, it helps decrease soot, so it helps my after treatment last longer and not have to work as hard and keeping everything lubed up and done well. So I will be following up with a fuel economy verification and potentially see if I can track how much money it profited me outside of its cost, which I'll buy the four bottles of 500 gallon volume, uh, 500 gallon uh, treatable gallons bottles, the 16 point something ounce bottles, four at a time. Nevertheless, I'll keep you posted. Arkansas Fidel out.